Aston Villa 1, Man City 2. And you, it's, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I just bought it through the whole thing. I mean, we start out McGinn. I don't know what it was the other day. I was just like, I feel... I feel like we're just going to come back quite strong after the, I think it was nine days off. And uh, I was just like, I think McGinn might score. And I'd, I even said that to Ben, so uh, he owes me a bit of money. So yeah, I'm glad McGinn scored. He's back on form, obviously. I think he's, that was like his third goal this season. So, you know, it's nice to see him. On the, it's, it's actually nice that we've um, t taken the lead against Man City for once. So yeah, I mean, as a Villa fan, I mean... Or anyone in this league, you don't really expect to get anything against uh, Man City. But I, I sort of thought coming to the end of the game, we might have because they are masters of keeping the ball in the middle and in our side of the pitch. Um, you know, the amount of passes they had was ridiculous. And I think once you get past that, uh, they, they don't really know what to do, and you know, you should be scoring. But fair play to them, I thought the ref was an absolute dickhead tonight, and I'll tell you why. Um, Ramsey was pushed over in that first half. He was pushed over so many times, and you know, he was actually he had a really good game. So big up to um, Ramsey. Um, off the, it was when I saw, I think it was Carl Walker literally chins him where Ramsey literally just about to score. By the way, he chins him, and nothing's given. They don't even like you know do not whistle. I do not understand. How a ref, when you know you're in, you're in the plain sight of that, you're not even giving a yellow. I mean, Carl Walker. Some people online are saying he should be sent off. He probably that he should have gone to VAR probably, but you know, it is what it is. It's just I hope I hope Ramsey's uh, okay. I'm not too sure what happened, but um, Davis came on uh, in the second half for him, so hopefully he hasn't got any injuries. But um, yeah, that leads me on to the next one with John Stones. How, why is it taken the referee to have to go and look at the screen for that? It's plain and simply a red card. Are the, are the refs these days clueless because the VAR's in it? Or so, you know what I mean? It's the, the, the referee is there to give their decision. The final decision is from the referee. And if you cannot see, if that's a blatant red. I'm sorry, but you need to eyes testing. But yeah, John Stones, absolutely disgusting. And then, you, you know, Pepe Guardiola. Um, going mad on the sideline. Do not understand why. I mean, you know, as a as a manager, you should just be like, you know, just take it, just take it. Don't go and act like um, it shouldn't have been a red or anything. It was fully a red. So it was good that he got sent off. And the four after that, we sort of got back into the game for a bit. So obviously the second half starts. Um, I thought we started out the better team in the second half, to be honest. But obviously, Man City were obviously the best, the better team tonight. So you know you gotta give it them. Um, I don't know what the possession was. It must have ended something like eighty percent to them. So obviously it was gonna happen. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Obviously, with the, de the decision, sorry, with Matty Cash. Um, you know, obviously he got a red card. It's a red. I mean, I don't know what was going on with him. Uh, I think he just lost his head. But yeah, I can't complain about it. it obviously, we're missing him against Albion, which is bad because it is a derby day. But um, you know, I'll just end off with the positives. We look better. We do look better. I mean, when you saw that starting lineup, everyone, everyone would have made a face off. You know what I mean? But um, you know, we look better. I mean. The, the last few games, obviously, I've been coming on here and talking about the passes. Our passes are really crap. We just, you know, it's sort of aimless sometimes. But for today, you know, the passing was okay. I think when we went down 2-1, I thought that's when it sort of started to mess up a bit. Um, and also, yeah, another thing I need to talk about is Ross Barkley. He came on and the man didn't do anything. He came on, first 20 seconds, we could have conceded another goal. And I'm not one of these people who go on, like, yeah, fucking hate him, he's a prick. And I'm not going to do that. I'm on here just to say my view of the football game. And he doesn't suit us, and I'm sorry, he needs to go back to Chelsea. I don't know if he's going to go somewhere else, but I don't think we're going to go for him. Um, it's not fair to keep him when... You know, he's been paid so much and he's not really producing. Um, but all the best to him. I'm not going to give him any hate because obviously he is human. And it's not nice to give hate online because you know what happens with 
uh, some dickheads online are going to be too far with players. But all in all, you know, two one. Obviously, we're a six one the last time they came to us, and yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going to bed tonight like disappointed or anything. Yes, we could have got a two two out of it maybe, but you know, it's Man City, and um, yeah, it's just it is what it is. So I hope you like the video, guys. We have got Albion next, which is on Sunday, so that is a huge game. We've got to get the three points from that. And, um, yeah, up the villa with a pride of villa. I'll probably be doing a video soon, and it's going to be talking about the weird moments of the season. You know, obviously, sorry about that. Um, you know, it's, it's just talking about, like, you know, weird games that we've had this season. Obviously, the 7 2 and that. Just some, some content to come out. So, yeah, hope you like the video, guys. Up the villa with a pride of villa. We'll see you next time.